Tuesday, June 26, 2018 Tyler Waldman, WBAL News Radio 1090 Maryland voters went to the polls Tuesday, in a contest shaken up by the 11th hour revelation that tens of thousands of voters' registration changes didn't go through. The primary ballot includes an open congressional seat, a de facto general election for Baltimore City State's attorney, primaries for Baltimore County executive and a crowded field of Democrats seeking to unseat Gov. Larry Hogan in Baltimore, the difficulties didn't stop with registration problems. At one precinct, the voting machine didn't work. One precinct had to be relocated due to pests. Three precincts opened late and, as such, had their closing time pushed back to 9 p.m. Due to the delay, state election officials withheld all results until then. All the voters affected by the technical glitch in the Motor Vehicle Administration, whose new addresses and other changes didn't go through, had to file provisional ballots, which won't be counted until July 5th. Coupled with the typical amount of provisional ballots and absentee ballots, it's possible some results may be unclear well after polls close. Nearly 3.6 million voters took part in early voting. Some voters not affiliated with major parties were among them, able to vote in nonpartisan races such as for school board or local office in Cumberland. The election also included an open congressional seat. Democrat John Delaney, 6th District, it is vacating his seat to run for president. Candidates on the Democratic side included State Senator Roger Mano, Dell. Aruna Miller and Total Wine co-founder David Trone. Trone self-funded his run to the tune of $10.2 million. On the Republican side, candidates include defense contractor Amy Hober, who challenged Delaney in 2016. Hober was endorsed by Gov. Larry Hogan, 